Good morning all, and today I'm taking a look at this Orky 28,000 milliamp hour multi-voltage external battery. It has an aluminium casing, a smart LED indicator which sort of rotates around, 5 volt outputs, two of those USB, 12 volts, 16 or 19 volts on a 2.1 millimeter uh, output, uh, charges the iPhone 13 times and an iPad at least 1.5 times, has overcurrent, overload, short circuit protection. This is the model PB017. So inside the box we have the power bank itself. There's also uh, a mains adapter here. Let's have a quick look at that. That says DC 20 volts, 2000 milliamps, and a UK uh, attachment for that. And underneath there are a variety of cables. There's a little short uh, USB type A to USB micro lead for charging a phone. Uh, now you can't charge the power bank itself from this because it doesn't have a USB charging input, but I'll come back to that. Uh, there's a cable here which looks like it's, uh, well, it's actually a 2.5 millimeter to 2.1 millimeter DC jack. Uh, that's the lead for the uh, mains power block. And then there's a whole set of laptop adapters with uh, 2.5 millimeter, it looks like, connectors this end, and then the various laptop connectors at the other end. And there are some quite unusual ones here, uh, some I've never seen before, this square one I've not seen, and this strange tapered end one. We have an A, a C, a D, E, G, H, J, K, an E2, and an M. And the final thing in here is the user manual. So let's take a look around the unit itself. Um, the markings on here are quite subtle, so I have to catch the light right. Uh, but you can see that there is a four-way LED indicator here with 25%, uh, 50 75 and 100% on the front there. And this is also the output enable button, or the on-off switch, if you press it it shows you the current state of charge, which is 75%. On the side here is a three LED indicator for 12 volts, 16 volts, and 19 volt outputs. And on the end here, we have two uh, DC jacks. This is the input, which is a 2.1 millimeter. This is the output, which can be 12, 16, or 19 volts. That's a 2.5 millimeter, and there are two USB type A's. And the markings for these four sockets are here, DC in, USB 2 out, USB 1 out, and DC out. And you can see from this information in the bottom corner uh, that USB output 1 is the 1 amp, USB output 2 is a 2.1 amp, uh, total DC output is 3.2 amps, we've got 12 volt, 16 volt, 19 volt. Now the input is a DC 15 to 19 volts at 2 amps, which is interesting. You don't charge this thing with 5 volt USB. Uh, capacity 28,000 milliamp hours. That's at, uh, measured at 3.7 volts. Now, curiously, although the uh, input charging voltage is marked as 15 to 19 volts, the supplied adapter actually says it's 20 volts. So it might be really worth looking at what's coming out of there. Um, now, I thought, well, okay, this thing has obviously got a, a wider range than 15 to 19, so I've actually tried charging this from 12 volts, and on the whole, it seems to be successful. And you can see here that the voltage output uh, from the supplied DC adapter, AC adapter, is in fact 20 volts there. Now, I'm just going to check the signaling on the two USB outputs. Uh, this is USB 2 output. Now, they don't come on until you press this button and then they stay on for a certain amount of time, and if no current is being detected drawn, then they switch back off again. But uh, this USB 2 output is showing that it's an Apple 2.1 amp signaling. Let's check the USB 1 output, and that's showing as an Apple 1 amp signaling. So certainly they're consistent with what's on the labels, uh, what's on these labels here, that is. Now when you press the uh, output power switch, it turns both the 5 volt USB and the selected high voltage on at the same time. Let's do that. So you can see the blue lights come on 
on the 12 volt indicator there and USB has clearly come on there. And then they will both time out after a certain period of time. Uh, if you're drawing current from either the 5 volt output or the high voltage output, then they stay on indefinitely, of course, until the battery uh, runs out of power. If the current drawn on either of these outputs drops below a certain level, then they will time out after a certain period of time. Now, if you want to change the high voltage voltage setting, you long press the power button, wait for the light to start flashing, and then you can press it briefly to move it between 12 volts, 16 volts, and 19 volts. Uh, the voltage output of the USB ports is of course fixed at five volts. Let's just take a look at what voltage they're showing. And so they're both indicating approximately 5.1 volts. Now let's take a look at this uh, LED indicator. If you switch the unit on, you get this climbing up sequence and then it settles down with a static display and shows you the current level of charge. So three LEDs is 75%. Now if I plug in the input charging jack into the input socket, we get a slightly different indication. It alternates between climbing up the four steps, which shows that it itself is charging, and then drops back to the three LEDs to show you the current level of charge. Now at the moment I'm using it effectively in pass-through mode. I've got uh, input power coming into the input socket and I'm also charging uh, something else from one of the USB sockets. Let's have a look at what the manual says about pass-through mode. And it says, although PB017 supports recharging and discharging at the same time, we suggest do not do that because of the low charging efficient and on the other hand, it will do harm to the PBO17's internal battery. Well, I've been using this for quite a while. I've been doing a lot of simultaneous charging and discharging, and it's been absolutely fine. The only thing I would say is that uh, most of my discharging has been at a higher rate than the charging, so the battery has been generally losing its charge. And I think in that mode, it is safe and it behaves itself. But if the manual warns don't do it and you're concerned, well, don't do it. Now I'm going to do some uh, capacity checks to confirm this 28,000 milliamp hour rating. I'm going to do that with the uh, YZX Studio power monitor. That will take a little time to do. So I'll put the results of those checks on my website uh, when they're done. And I'll put a link in the description through to them so that you can see what the actual capacity of this power bank is. Now, what about size? Well, you can get an idea of size uh, from this A4 cutting mat. The manual says it's 192 by 117 by 22 millimeters, which is seven and a half by four and a half by 0.9 inches. Now I'm just going to put it next to a couple of other power banks, which are fairly large ones. Again, just so you can get an idea of the size of the Orky 28 amp hour pack. It is very large, but of course it does store a lot of energy. So here's the item on amazon.co.uk. It's the Orkey 28,000 milliamp power, multi-voltage, 5 volt, 12 volt, 16 volt, 19 volt, external battery pack with quick charge and aluminium body design for all these devices, uh, 54 pounds 99. And on amazon.com, uh, well, the description is the same and it's $89.99 free shipping. So that's a little look at the Orkey 28,000 milliamp hour multi-voltage external battery pack. Cheerio.